this is Cobra Reptiles and today we're going to be doing our first ever unboxing video. As you might notice I'm sitting on the floor of my bathroom but that's because my room's a wreck and I don't have a table to put this on. So I have not opened this box yet so you're just going to see what happens in real time and let's get started. These are two baby Plains garter snakes. Recently, one of my garter snakes passed away, so we wanted to get a new friend for Clover, the other snake. But let's not think about the sad note right now. We've got some new baby snakes. Cool pack's not cold anymore. They were shipped from Utah to Maryland in record high temperatures, so... Hopefully that's not a very big deal. We did uh, make sure that the temperatures were below 95 before shipping. That's not good. Hey, there's, I think they're both in here. Yep. They have one male and one female that we're gonna raise up and probably breed when they're older. Oh my God, they're even smaller than I thought they'd be. I want to check that both of them are okay. It's very, got a very orange stripe. Oh my god. <laughs> These are smaller than nugget and soy sauce. It's one. Everything looks good. This thing smells horrible. They pooped in here, I can see. Okay. And there's the other. one's a lot bigger, so I think it's the female. I'll have to confirm that later. They're very wiggly, but they're both looking amazing. So I'll now go film setting up their new enclosure. Okay, so we ran into a small problem. I knew these guys were going to be small, but these are absolutely tiny. I had a five-gallon tank set up. But I think I'd lose them if I put them in there. They're just too tiny. So then I was thinking maybe I could put them in the old tank, or not even tank, just container I had. Had Nugget and Soy Sauce, the DK's brown snakes in. Still needs to be cleaned out. But those holes, I think they could even squeeze these through that mess. So I think I might use this container. This is a Clover's travel container. Whenever I need to take her to the vet or something, I put her in here. I think this might be the only thing I have that they won't be able to squeeze out of. It's a little big, but it should it'll be fine. They'll appreciate the extra space. Okay, so while I set up uh, the enclosure, I'm going to tell you a little bit about where these snakes came from. These are both Plains Garter snakes, and I plan on breeding them in couple years once they're old enough, probably maybe three years so the female gets big enough. They came to me from Dawn's Garter Snakes. It was, I had an amazing experience there. I definitely would recommend for buying hang snakes. Although, he probably thought I was a bit annoying because I kept asking a bunch of unnecessary questions. It was my first time buying snakes online. I actually got this shell. This was Nugget and Soy Sauce, the two DK's brown snake babies. It was their favorite shell, and they can fit under there, which was their favorite place to hide. I also got this tube that came from an old cricket carrier, but I don't think I'm going to use it. It doesn't fit very well in here. I'm just going to use a little cap to the container as a water dish. And put some just fake leaves around just to let them climb and stuff. This is an enrichment. Okay, so let's add the snakes. I sprayed down the enclosure a little bit and filled the water bowl so it's all ready for them. Here they are. Let's grab one of them. They're so tiny, I'm scared I'm going to break them. This is the female. Her name is Bumble. I'll put her just here. Then... This is the male. 
His name will be Ash. Oh, Bumble's already exploring under, like, under the shell. Okay. We're gonna let these guys settle in a little bit, and we'll be feeding them their first meals tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and as always, subscribe for more reptile content, and stay tuned. Okay, it's been three days since since we unboxed them, and now we're going to try feeding them their first meal. We have some chopped up pinky mouse and tilapia for them. We're going to see which one they prefer. first attempt at feeding failed pretty badly, so we set up a little camera on them to see if they'll eat when we're not looking. So, we'll add that footage here if anyone ate, and if not, well, you won't be seeing this because we're not going to include feeding. As you can see, a bumble oh, the female oh, pigged out completely on all the food. Well, Ash didn't eat. We'll make sure to try some other food items off camera with him to see if we can get him to eat. Now, for real this time, thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more reptile and exotic content.